Hello ladies and gentlemen, what's up? It's Bravo Tactical Vids and welcome to another video of mine. Today I'm going to be teaching you how, how to uh, wash off your brass. Uh, here I have some 5.56 and some 45 ACP and uh, I shot it uh, yesterday um, and uh, I have a friend that reloads so uh, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to wash this out for him and then I'm going to send it to him. This is just a small part I'm doing for the video. I have a little more, I have some 9mm that I have to do, um, uh, but uh, I mean you could do it for any reason, I mean the, it's a really easy way, you don't have, need to have a uh, tumbler, um, this is good if you're a beginner at reloading, uh, you could do this uh, until you get a tumbler, or maybe you just want to sell your brass and you want to keep it looking nice, not keep it looking all dirty, um, and then you know you can sell it later, looking uh, nice and shiny. So. Uh, Let's get to uh, what you need. So basically your ingredients here are uh, some dish soap, some vinegar, some salt, and uh, some water. And basically uh, you're going to want for, this is uh, this uh, method is kind of good for about 200 rounds, but since I have only about 100 rounds right here, I'm going to split it in half. But for 200 rounds you need one quart of water, one cup of vinegar, one tablespoon of uh, salt, and a tablespoon of dish soap. Uh, basically, I'm going to split down half, and basically one quart is uh, four cups, so I'm just going to split this uh, uh, this recipe in half uh, for 100 rounds, and uh, it should be good, so let's get started. So here I have pretty much uh, two cups of warm water, I just use some warm tap water, and I'm doing this in my bathroom and my sink, because I have no other better place to do it. Um, next, I'm going to take a half a cup of vinegar, let me just open that up. Half a cup of vinegar, toss it in there, uh, and then you're going to grab uh, half a tablespoon of salt. Just turn that real quick. Half a tablespoon of salt, and half a tablespoon of dish soap. And right now I don't actually have exactly how much half a tablespoon is, I'm just kind of eyeballing it. So, this is not exact, exact. Uh, but just follow the recipe and uh, you should be good. Alright, so now I'm going to grab my brass. I'm just going to rub it in there. And I dropped a piece. Uh, basically, when I first did this recipe, uh, I dropped another piece of gold, damn it. When I first did this recipe, I did it in a plastic bag. Um, uh, and now, you know, I'm converting to the next best, next best thing, and I'm uh, putting it in a, a little bucket thingy, so I know half of this is going to spill out. Come on. Oh, God damn it! why do you stick? I hate when the casings bulge and then stick inside the, uh, uh, god damn it. Basically, uh, what you're going to want to do is you want to leave this for about a half an hour, and, uh, every five to ten minutes you want to come back to it, and, uh, I uh, just sift it a little bit so uh, everything gets in there and uh, cleans out all the gunpowder and everything. Oh god. Alright, so there we go. I got about 90 rounds in there. I'll let it sit there for about a half an hour and uh, just, like I said every so often every five to ten minutes come back and uh, just uh, sift it around so I'll be back when I'm done 
All right, guys, so I'm back, and it's been about a half an hour, and every seven minutes I came and I just sifted through these. And now what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to rinse them out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this big bucket I had, uh, I'm going to pour these in. Uh, and make sure you're using things that you're not going to use to eat. Um, for example, make sure like you're not using any Tupperware or anything, any buckets that you eat in, because uh, you definitely don't want to eat in them. So now I'm just going to empty out all the dirty water. Hopefully this will work. I don't want to fail in the camera. Uh. Alright. So pretty much what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some not too warm water, but at the same time I don't want it to be too cold. And uh, now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to rinse these out. Uh, usually what I do is I hand rinse them, so I'll take every single one and I'll put them underneath the tap. And then I'll wipe off all of the uh, excess. But basically as you can see, like this round right here, I don't know if you can see that. Let me just try and focus. Uh, like you could see kind of the black on it. Um, you can see the black, but it really just wipes away really easily. And before, it didn't really wipe away. So you can see it's wiping away. Um, so if you want, you can individually wash each of them. That's what I'd recommend. That's what I usually do. Um, and the drying process, basically, uh, what I do is I take a pa uh, paper towel. You could take any other towel. Just make sure you're not using it to wipe, you know, wash your face or anything, or wash your dishes with. Uh, take the towel and just uh, wipe them all off. And then what I do is uh, I lay the rounds upside down on the uh, paper towel uh, so all the water drips out. Um, so I just finished washing these and I'll show you what I do. Alright, and so now I am drying them. First, what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave these here uh, facing upside down. Uh, the, uh, the open part where the bullet would be uh, facing upside down, so like primer side up. Um, so the water inside can drip out into the paper towel. Uh, I have my uh, 45 ACP over here, and I have my uh 556 five, over there and basically after this what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to leave this to sit for about an hour or two and then I'm going to take them into my closet and set them on the shelf on the upper part of the shelf and my closet's kind of warm so hopefully it'll make all the water evaporate uh it basically so dry it with a towel and leave it out to uh to uh, air dry for about one to two days. Um, if you're not willing to wait one to two days, you can always uh, put it in your oven at the low setting. Set it for about 20 minutes, I would recommend. Uh, I would say maybe about 150 degrees. Uh, I think 170 is the lowest mine goes to. Um, I'm not sure, but whatever the low setting is, leave it for about 20 minutes, and hopefully it should be as dry as a bone. Um, Alright guys, basically I've done um, the drying process, the uh, well not the full drying process, uh, the kind of the drying of the water uh, from the insides and basically what I'm going to do is I'm just going to thoroughly dry it, I'm just going to leave this for a day. Uh, I left it uh, sitting on the paper towels for about an, two hours now, 
it's been yeah two hours um so i did my nine millimeter i got my 45 over here on five five six uh and i was looking through them uh, and inspecting each one and basically like i'll see these really dark parts on them don't know if you can see that um but there are dark parts on the uh on each shell and that's because uh when the round is fired the the shells get burnt is this one of them uh no there was one that was really burnt and i can't really seem to find it right now but uh at first i just thought that it didn't wash properly so what i do is i just put it in um the wash with my nine millimeter uh but it still wasn't coming off so what i did was i tried to wipe it with hand with uh like a paper towel and then it wouldn't come off so then i took an old toothbrush and that no one uses and i wet it and i tried scrubbing it off and it still wouldn't come off so i was like okay this is probably a burn mark and uh i was seeing a bunch of them have them i think that's the one i just grabbed uh can't really find anyone uh here's one i guess i don't know if you could see that i don't know if you could see that there's kind of like a burn mark uh it, it's darker compared to the bottom half of the uh, casing and that's just burn marks so um basically hope you guys enjoyed this uh this video i uh, hope it was educational for you um i apologize if, if it was a little long uh if you have any questions go ahead and leave it in the comments below if you if i missed anything uh go ahead and correct me down in the comments uh, if this video was helpful, please leave a like. Uh, I would highly appreciate it. And if you want to see more videos, uh, please subscribe. So again, I've been Bravo Tactical Vids, and thank you for watching.